In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically find and, and disable inactive users in Active Directory. Uh, so with the AD Pro Toolkit, uh, there is a built-in uh, scheduler and a task to find inactive accounts, and you can also delete uh, accounts. So click on, click on scheduler, click on add, and then you're going to click on inactive accounts, give the task a name, set their credentials, click next, select your frequencies. So this is going to be how often you want this task to run. I'm going to have it run daily and I'll set it to run at uh, nine o'clock. Click next. And then the, here's where you define um, how, to do, how to identify the inactive accounts and then the actions you want to do. So uh, first step is the account is going to be inactive for at least 90 days by def us default, but you can change this to anything. And you can include users and computers, and then you must select a path. So you can have this search the entire domain. You can just click your root. Um, but for this example, I'm going to have it just search for a uh, search in, a, in an OU. So it's going to find all the inactive accounts in that OU. Um, and then it's going to do these actions. So I want it to disable the accounts. Um, I want it to disable. I'm going to move them. So I'm going to move them to an OU called inactive. I will also set a description. So disable and I'll set today's date. And then I will have it email me the results. So just to recap, it's going to set the conditions. So I'm going to find all accounts that haven't, uh, this is based off the last logon timestamp. So, uh, so accounts have been inactive for at least 90 days. I want to find inactive users and I'm, I'm setting up a specific OU. So it's just going to find inactive accounts in, in this OU. Uh, and there's an exclude option. So you can put in accounts if you want them to always be excluded. Um, so then I'm going to do these actions. This, whatever accounts it finds, I want to disable, move, set a description, and then I'm going to have it email me the results. There's also a report only mode. So you can enable this and then it won't do any uh, it won't take any actions on the account. It'll just send you an email report of what it found. Um, so I'll click finish. And then at nine o'clock every day, it's going to run this task to find the inactive accounts and then do these actions. So I'll click finish and then I will pause the video, let this task run, and I'll show you the results. Okay, the task has completed. So the inactive accounts, uh, you can see it's completed successful. So if I come into Active Directory, I specified, I set the uh, actions to move the accounts to an inactive OU. So when I refresh this, you can see now it's got all these uh, accounts in them. They're disabled. And I added the description column. So you can see they've all been, uh, descriptions been added to all of them. Um, and then if I come check my email, I got an email report and it shows me the details of what happened. So it, here's all the accounts that it identified. It shows the last logon timestamp. So you can see I set I set an inactivity time frame of 90 days. So you can see these accounts have not been active since 2022. So they've definitely been inactive for at least 90 days. Um, shows you the OU path I've set. Uh, they were checked. Account disabled was checked. Description was set. Here's the description and the OU path was modified. So that is how you automatically uh, disable inactive accounts using the Active Directory Pro Toolkit. Um, and I'll have another video showing you how to automatically delete accounts. Um, so this task will be for to delete accounts that have been disabled for a certain time period. Um, so again, that'll be in a different video. Uh, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching.